Hey, MTS crew, what's going on, y'all? I hope all is well and all yes. is good in the neighborhood. Y'all, we're going to do some Georgia Franks today, and this is the way that I do my Georgia hot dog, Georgia Frank hot dogs. And we're going to do some steak fries. These are not yes. fries that I cut myself, but these are store-bought fries, but you can make these store-bought fries your own. Yes. But first, we're going to get into our prayer. Hi, Sister Pam. How are hey. you? Yes. Okay, let's get into our prayer, y'all, before we do anything. And we got to yes. put God first, okay? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah, you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we yes, thank you and we praise you. you. We worship you and only yes. you, Father yes, God. Lord. We thank you for our life, thank health, you. and strength, yes, Father Lord. God. We thank you for the things that you have done for thank us you. and yes. the things that you're going to do for our MTS crew. Yes. God, I ask you to put a hedge of yes. protection around them yes. and their families, Father God, yes, that no sickness will come yes, to Lord. them yes. in the name of Jesus. And for those who are sick yes. and going through, God, yes. I ask you to send your healing angels, God. Right to now. encamp around yes. them, Father God. Yes. God, I pray healing right yes. now in the name of in Jesus. Name of I Jesus. Pray, pray healing, God. And yes. God, those who are, are going through that can't even afford mm. to, yes. to buy yes. food to prepare, yes. God. God, I ask you, Father God, to just feed the hungry yes. in the name, in of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, God. Yes. I ask you to help me to do what I can for yes. anybody who is in need, Father God. So these blessings we ask in your son, Jesus' name, yes. the name above all names. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God. Thank you, we Lord. thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all. We're going to get ready to do some, um, I call them Georgia Franks. These are yes. these are really good. You know, everybody used to do those, uh, the, the old school Franks, and you can do a, have a spin on them. So, but we have some um, Nathan hot dogs, and yes. these are Nathan B. Franks. These yes. are all we like yes. is the Nathan B. Franks. And then we're going to do a twist, like I say, with our uh, french fries. And this is something that I do, and I like it because it makes the french fries crispy. You don't have to do it, but this is the way I do it. Yes. You know, everybody do that, do their own way, okay? So we're going to score a few of these hot dogs so you can see how I do that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a few of the french fries, and I'm going to show you how I do that. And then we're going to take it to the stove, y'all. So, And I'm going to show you how I cook my um, hot dogs. I never like to boil hot dogs. It just take the flavor out. I like either grilled on the outside mm -hmm. or I like hot dogs cooked in a frying pan. Old school, y'all. Yes, so yes. I like my hot dogs cooked in the frying pan. <laughs> so what we're going to do, and I like them a little dark. I'm not saying yes. burnt, but I like to make sure that them <laughs> boys <laughs> is done. <laughs> yes. I like done hot dogs. Yes. So then, I don't eat a whole lot of hot dogs, yes. but you know, everybody kind of wanted hot dogs today. And um. Yes. It's cold here. It's cold here in Georgia, y'all. Oh, yes. We need to be making some chili. But uh, <laughs> so we're going to show you, and then we're going to show you how do like a little hot dog bar, and we're going to show you what we put on our hot dogs and how we uh, um, uh, prepare. Now, my children like my hot dogs because of the buns. Now, you know you got to have a good bun. Mm -hmm. You can't have no cold bun. You can't have no hard bun. These buns have to be just right. Yes. And the reason my children like my buns because I have a technique uh, when I cook my buns. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it makes the bun soft yes. and toasty right on top of the oven. So we're going to do that. But right now, we're going to score a couple of these hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a couple of french fries. I'm going to put you down there. Okay. I've already did one. So the way I like to do my hot dogs is I take them and I just score them up like that. Put a couple of uh, slits in them. See, I like to make sure that th that hot dogs get done. I remember once my uh, my mother, she ate a hot dog. And she got really sick. I mean, to the point mm -hmm. to where she thought she was going to die. It didn't get stuck in her throat, but it gave her indigestion real bad until she thought she was having a heart attack. But come to find out, the hot dog wasn't cooked all the way, and it made her sick. So I always score my hot dogs like this to uh, make sure that they are good and done. Okay, so I'm going to do a few of these, and then we'll finish them up. Okay, you just do them like that, or you can just... Slice them, whatever. This is how they're going to look. Okay. Now, I'll finish with those hot dogs in a minute. Okay. This is for, believe it or not, my french fries. This get I got um, Lowry seasoning salt. Garlic. I got garlic salt. 
I have um, uh, paprika in here. I have a lot of that. And I have black pepper and salt. And the reason that I added a couple of different kinds of salts because I'm going to dip my french fries in egg wash and then I'm going to roll my french fries in here. And when I cook them in the oven, I'm going to, let me see that pan. I'm going to put them on a grease pan like this. Here's the egg, and I'm going to put them on the grease pan. Let me see the bigger ones. Let me see the bigger ones. And what I'm going to do, okay, what I'm going to do, y'all, take, sorry about that, y'all, take, take the french fries, put them in the seasoning, shake the excess off. And I'm going to dip them again. So we're going to do this process. I know y'all probably say, just put the french fries like they are. No, we like crunchy french fries. Mm -hmm. And this is the way we like them. Okay. So we're going to finish with this process. You can use what seasoning you like, but this is the seasoning that I like. Oh, and I forgot. We put a lot of Parmesan cheese in this mixture. Come on now, we can do a little something special for the family, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's go that extra mile today. So, what we're going to do is finish these up, finish the hot dogs up, and we're going to take these to the stove, okay? Okay, y'all, our crusty fries are going in. These fries are going to have a crust. And if you want to, like I say, cut your own potatoes up, but these are um, store-bought potatoes. But if you want to do your home fries, that's fine. But these are what we call crusty fries, and so they're going in the oven for about mm, 20 minutes. Okay, y'all, be going in with these Nathan hot dogs. And I put just a little oil in those. And we're going to cook until brown. <laughs> no raw hot dogs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these hot dogs will be ready to come out in a few minutes. We just want to make sure that they're good and done. Then we're going to we'll go ahead and get our buns on. But yeah, this is the way I like to do my hot dogs on. Let's make sure that they are good and done. both sides. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to do my buns, and this way is the way that my children like their buns. So, I don't put any oil in the skillet, no butter, no oil or anything. I put it on medium heat. I put the oil, the, not the oil, but the butter on the buns. And these are potato buns. So I put the butter on them. Yeah. Okay. And what I'm going to do, we're going to let these brown on each side. You have to watch them because they will burn if you have your um, heat up. 
too high. So you have to really watch them. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn them over. And then I'm going to show you what I do to make these bonds steamed. Without being soggy, just steamed. Okay. See how they brown it? So it don't take that long for them to brown. See, and they need to be all the way brown. You know how you would go and buy a, a hot dog uh, uh, off the street or at a ballpark? You know, sometimes they have the steam buns and sometimes they don't have the steam bun. But I like my buns brown. Just like that. Okay. Let's switch. Okay. Switch. When I get the buns brown like I like them, then the magic is going to happen. Okay. Okay. Where are the top sis? Okay. What I do, I go ahead and get ready to turn this off. I turn it completely off. I maybe turn it up for a sec to get it real hot. Then I turn them off. Then I put a teaspoon of water in there. And that's going to have your toasted steam buns. And I have the eye turned off. And these buns are going to be delicious with that butter on them. And they're going to be toasted and steamed. So when we come back, we're going to put these buns, put the hot dogs together and uh, see how it comes out. So just leave these here for about maybe 10 minutes without removing the top. Well, I remove it to kind of show y'all. But these buns are going to be good and soft. Okay, y'all. The buns are done. They're nice and soft. And I put some cheese down in there. There's cheddar cheese. And then I'm going to put my hot dog in there. And I'm going to repeat this process until we have them all done. Okay. Okay, and now uh, you just take, open up your hot dog, put your cheese in there, open up the hot dog bun, whatever, and do like that. So we're going to finish this process and then on to the next process. Y'all, these are going to be some delicious hot dogs. Okay, y'all, we have that cheese on the bottom. Now we're going to sprinkle some cheese on the top. And after, before we get ready to uh, put our toppings on there, we're going to take and put these in the oven for about mm, two or three minutes on broil and let that cheese melt. And then we'll put our toppings on there. Okay. Y'all, I promise y'all, these are some good hot dogs with these buns toasted like that. You must try. If you're going to eat a hot dog, you just got to go all the way, huh? You remember when you used to go maybe to a restaurant back in the day, and you would say you want a hot dog all the way? So we're going to do it all the way today for y'all. Okay. So we are waiting for our french fries to come out there. We're going to put these in, and we're going to have all our fixing. But we're going to have our cheese on the bottom cheese on top and then we can go ahead with our chili relish sauerkraut mustard ketchup whatever we want to put on them that stuff will go on top of these 
Y'all, the fries are out of the oven, and these are our crusty french fries. These are absolutely delicious, and uh, the only thing you need to do is get you some flour, some egg wash, uh, and put the seasonings of your choice, but I put uh, Lowry seasoning salt, salt, garlic, uh, uh, pepper, salt, paprika, and um, Parmesan cheese, and parsley. So these are our crusty french fries. Okay, y'all, our hot dogs and uh, french fries are ready. Yes. Here's the hot dogs right out of the oven. Cheesy mm -hmm. hot dogs. And here are our french fries. Yes, yes. They look good. Crusty french fries. Delicious. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put y'all down here so y'all can see our hot dog bar. i tell you what we have. We have chili, banana peppers, coleslaw, uh, ketchup, hot mustard, spicy mustard, mm -hmm. relish, fresh onion, and a sauerkraut. And of course, we have our pickles. So I'm going to push this to the side, and I'm getting ready to dress my hot dog. As they say in the older days, huh? Let me put that on my seat. Let's dress our hot dog. Okay. Give me a plate. And sister's going to get hers ready. Mm -hmm. Hot dog. Y'all, these buns are absolutely... Delicious. I'm going to put a few french fries on my plate. So, so you can go ahead and she waiting on me, huh? <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of pickles on my plate. Y'all, we eating our paper plates tonight. Paper plates. Can y'all see that? Okay, the first thing I like to put on my hot dogs, ketchup. I love ketchup, not a whole lot. I love my ketchup. Just a little spicy mustard. I don't, I don't care a whole lot for mustard either, but a little spicy mustard. Okay. Of course, we got to have those onions on these Georgia dogs. Got to have the onions. Okay, we're going to have chili. You can make your own chili or you can do like we did. Just go and buy some Hormel chili with beans. Chili. Now I like chili on my hot dog. Okay. We're going with some sweet pickle relish. Let everything slide off. That's okay. We'll catch it. <laughs> Sweet pickle relish. Okay. Got to have a little, little sauerkraut, y'all. Not that much. Little sauerkraut. Okay. A few banana peppers. Coleslaw. Okay. This is my hot dog. I got everything I like on there. Y'all, those french fries are absolutely delicious. Oh, man, I have my ketchup. Mm -hmm. We're going to slide our ketchup around here next to the fries. Okay. Okay, y'all, we ready to get ready to uh, 
We'll eat our hot dogs. Yes. We're going to eat a bite. Yes. And y'all, this is my drink of choice. I love red rock ginger ale. Sister says that she had to put, uh, she had to dilute hers. Mm. So we got our rib. <coughs> it make me cough. See? <laughs> See, you done. Mm -hmm. Now y'all know what I'm talking about. It's strong, y'all. Okay, y'all, first we're going to try these french fries. Crusty fries. Mm, y'all got to try these fries. Yes. A little flour. Garlic. Season of your choice, just put it in your flour and make sure you put your pepperoni in there. Parmesan cheese, grated, even good without the ketchup. Mm hmm. Just like they are. Mm, this is good, y'all. Uh huh. Let me try the hot dog. What's the look in your mouth at? That's my son coming to show him up. That's good. Mm. Good little hot dog. It's good, y'all. Mm-mm. on your hot dog, sis. Mm -hmm. Five o'clock, banana pepper, chili, rice and mustard, and coleslaw. And it's good. That sauerkraut gives it a good taste, right? To me, it's doing. Mm -hmm. And we eating on plastic and drinking out of plastic today. Yes, yeah. And nothing wrong with it. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. That red rock make you sneeze. That's why I say glue. <coughs> cough and everything else. But definitely make you bimp. Mm hmm. You can show them your plate, so. Mm -hmm. Those Nathan hot dogs are the best by far. I, I, think. I love are. Nathan hot dogs. You can digest them more, too. Mm -hmm. Don't take them to digest them. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Crusty fries. Mm -hmm. If I make your own fries, we make these. Mm -hmm. We make our own fries. But today we decided to use the ones that we had in the refrigerator, in the freezer. Mm -hmm. You can do them the same way. Kind of put you in the mind of checkers fries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love my favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I get full so quick. But you know what? We thank y'all. Yes. Try this recipe with the, you know, try to make the hot dogs like, like we just made them. They are absolutely delicious. You can use any hot dog brand you like. <clears throat> I just happen to like the Nathan's hot dog. 
and um try the way that that we do the buns the buns are are really delicious i mean they're really soft and buttery mm -hmm. and um just you know try that and just to try something different these hot dogs i can't say it enough they are delicious just um, uh, uh, fix your hot dogs like I did. Put your cheese mm -hmm. on them. Put them back in the oven for a few yes. minutes under the yes. broiler. Don't let them burn. Get your condiments and, and make you a hot dog bar. And, you know, the hot dogs are going to be ready with the cheese on them. Let your mm -hmm. family come and put what they want to put on their hot dogs, okay? Do us a favor. Be good to yourself. And if you be, be good, good to, to yourself... yourself you yeah, have no other choice but to be good to back. others. Pat yourself on the back. Yes. Encourage yourself. Yes. Always. And you go on and be blessed. Yes. And remember, you are the apple of God's eye. Yes. He knows every hair on your head has been numbered. Yes. He knows that. So see you later, y'all. Love you. All right. Bye. I'm going to finish my hot dog. Mm-hmm.